Ariana Hall, a uh, great teacher of, of Tantra and authentic masculinity within LA. She said something once about how the difference between needs, wants, and desires mm. in, in that order. And the pose that she had for me was you're at the airport and you get called up just before your flight to the desk. It looks like they might have a first class flight for you, but you've got to pee badly. Bladder is full <laughs> and they're boarding and you still haven't called your lover. Which one is a need? Which one is a want? And which one is a desire? Uh-huh. The question goes to you, CK. Which one's which? Well, a need would be a biological. It's urgent. It's right here and now. Right? Simple. Oh. A need. Not negotiable. Yeah. Wants. Yeah, it's a good question. It's a, a toss-up between the lover and the first class, I would say. It depends on how much the lover you love the lover. Again. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I would say for most people, the desire of a third, it's not a want. I don't want first class. I desire first class would be awesome for a 14-hour flight back to Australia. Mm -hmm. Desire. But the want is... I want to call him, but if I don't, it's not the end of the world. He'll understand I'll call him when I get there. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. You don't like give that. up a chance for to have something you've always desired because you have a kind of a want to satisfy. And the same is the metaphor is for life in Vedic terms that you need to take care of your needs. That should be your first thought. What are my needs? I need to feel alive daily. Like I literally need to be physical every day. If I don't do that, my health wanes and I'm mental about it. And it's just, I can't do my, the rest of my world. I'm not physical in the ocean, going for a run, a bike ride, dancing in my body. It's a need. It's not a want. It's not a desire. It's actually a need. I have a need for companionship. I desire a great partner, but I've actually learned, I'm actually in the middle of a six month feminine cleanse at the moment. I'm four months into being pure with the feminine, just simply you know, light and polite. There's no fantasy about the feminine. There's no engaging. There's no flirting. There's no dating. There's no swiping. There's nothing. No sex, no masturbation, nothing. Dying a death to that which you desire. I'll be honest, it's doing my head in, but it's giving me incredible insight into my actual needs. I desire the feminine, but that doesn't mean I have to need her. But I have a need for companionship to be seen, to be felt, and to feel. That's a need. I don't have to get that from a partner. But that delineation, very important. So if people just sit down coming from this call and just go, what are my needs? What are my desires? And then what are the things that I want? Desire to own beautiful homes that I love. It's not a need, but I need to be in a secure house and living in Venice. I need to be in a, a secure place where I can relax and I can breathe and I can meditate and I can have a backyard to work on. That's a need. Very important. It can change your life. Just naming your needs. Because then mm. you realize, holy shit, I don't give this to myself. Because you know what? It's not up to the world to give it to you. 